It was a horrific scene that claimed the life of a wife and mother last December, and now a lawsuit has been filed against 13 defendants. State troopers say the woman got trapped between an SUV and a gasoline pump, and all of that sparked a fire that engulfed everything. News Channel East Nico Clemens joining us in Palm Harbor with more on the lawsuit. Nico. Hey, this family is still struggling. We remember that tragedy, that explosion that happened right here just days before Christmas. Obviously, the gas pump is no longer here. In fact, a flower is sitting in its place. The family believes her death could have been prevented. Those people are going to have to answer questions about what happened on the day of the incident, why certain things didn't happen. A Bay Area family still searching for answers. Eight months have passed since the tragic death of Cheryl Cabales at this Palm Harbor Circle K. A lawsuit filed last week claims the device designed to shut down gasoline if a pump is damaged or hit by a car did not work. The Circle K employees failed to trigger the emergency stop switch, which would have cut off the gas and possibly saved Cabales' life. The family's attorney says they also made a shocking discovery, that Circle K and its contractors destroyed evidence. But as we were in the initial part of our investigations, Every time we turned the page, it was almost a, a fall out of your seat moment. Florida Highway Patrol says a 66 year old woman backed into a gas pump last December. The pump fell on Cabales while she was pumping gas, pinning her against her SUV. Court documents say two of her children tried to save her, but they couldn't. Cabales burned to death. There were many things that could have happened that did not happen that could have prevented this woman from dying in the most horrific manner. As the family grieves, they hope this lawsuit sheds light on why this happened so no other family has to experience their pain. I don't want anyone to think that just because they're trying to move forward every day that there's a moment that goes by for any of them that they aren't thinking about what happened to their, their treasured mother, treasured wife. There are many companies and people named in this lawsuit, uh, from Circle K and its employees to the driver who hit the gas pump. Our attempts to reach out to some were unsuccessful, but many of the companies we did reach out to today, we are still waiting on their response. Nico Clemens, 8 on your side. Thank you.